good day everyone integration part 11 here we will see few more types integral subtype integral e power ax sin bx dx integral e power ax cos bx dx you can just have sin bx and cos bx or you can have a constant with it that is sin bx plus c cos bx plus c like that okay this also belongs to integration by parts only in that model 3 you remember that you used integration by parts two times this will also be like that but let us see what difference here in this type of sum okay so let us see one example sum i is equal to integral e power 2x cos 3x plus 4 dx this is a product of two different functions exponential function and trigonometric function t comes before e using i late rule now your u function will be cos of 3x plus 4 and dv will be e power 2x dx as usual differentiate the u function and integrate the dv function so you will get du is equal to minus 3 sin 3x plus 4 dx okay then if you integrate here you will get v is equal to e power 2x by 2. Now write the formula for integration by parts. Integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. The left hand side will always be i. So write here i that is equal to uv that is e power 2x by 2 into cos 3x plus 4 okay minus integral v that is e power 2x by 2 du will be minus 3 sin 3x plus 4 dx now from this integral let us take minus 3 by 2 outside the integral so what will we get now e power 2x by 2 cos 3x plus 4 minus into minus you will be getting a plus and 3 by 2 outside and integral e power 2x sin 3x plus 4 dx. Now if you look at the i you had e power 2x and cos 3x plus 4. Here if you look at this integral you are having e power 2x into sin 3x plus 4. Suppose you have here sin, you will get here cos, okay? Now, let us represent it as i is equal to e power 2x by 2 cos 3x plus 4 plus 3 by 2 i1. That is this integral I am representing as i1, okay? I will call this as step 1. Now, let us integrate i1 because your i1 is also a product of exponential and trigonometric function i1 is equal to integral e power 2x sin 3x plus 4 dx so here also the trigonometric function is your u function and that e power 2x dx will be the dv so let me write u is equal to now it is sin 3x plus 4 and the dv will be e power 2x dx okay so now let us differentiate du will be 3 cos 3x plus 4 dx and if we integrate v is equal to e power 2x by 2 right so now if you use the formula integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral vdu. Now the left hand side is your i1, right? So you write i1 is equal to u into v. That is e power 2x by 2 sin 3x plus 4 minus integral vdu. v is e power 2x by 2 and du is 3 cos 3x plus 4 dx okay here we will take this 3 by 2 out what will we get now e power 2x by 2 sin 
3 x plus 4 minus 3 by 2 e power 2 x cos 3 x plus 4 d x. Okay? Don't be afraid whether you have to do once more the integration by parts. Now, look at this. You have e power 2 x cos 3 x plus 4. What is your i? i is e power 2 x cos 3 x plus 4. So, definitely, after the second time using by parts, in that VDU, you will be getting the i, surely. Okay? So, now we can write i1 is equal to e power 2 x by 2 sin 3 x plus 4 minus 3 by 2 i. You mark it as 2. Right? Now, let us substitute this 2 in that 1. That is in the place of i1, we will be substituting it. So, what will we get now? i will be equal to, I am having first e power 2x by 2 cos 3x plus 4, then plus 3 by 2 i1. So, I will write plus 3 by 2. In the place of i1, I will write e power 2x by 2 sin 3x plus 4 minus 3 by 2 i. Okay? Let us expand the bracket. What do we get now? We will get e power 2x by 2 cos 3x plus 4 plus 3 by 4 e power 2x sin 3x plus 4 minus 9 by 4 i. Okay? So, you can see here you have an i and here you have an i term so that we have to take this i term to that side and then we have to properly simplify and give the answer. Okay? Do you follow what we have done so far? So, let us continue it. So, i is there. Now, that 9 by 4i minus there. So, when it comes to this side, that becomes plus. Okay? That is equal to e power 2x by 2 cos 3x plus 4 plus 3 by 4 e power 2x sin 3x plus 4. Okay? Now, of course, we can add one c at this step or at the next step I will add. Now, here what will happen? Take LVM. You will be getting 13 by 4, right? That will be equal to. Here, let me take 4 as the LZM and I can take e power 2x by 4 common out. Okay? e power 2x by 4. When I take 4 as the LCM, this will become 2 cos 3x plus 4. Right? That will become 3 sin 3x plus 4. Then I will put 1 C. Now, this 4 and this 4 I can cut. So, my i will be equal to e power 2x by 13. That 13 I am bringing here. 2 cos 3x plus 4 plus 3 sin 3x plus 4 plus c. Is it clear to you? So, we have done 2 times by parts and we got some i. That i we brought back to the LHS and then we are getting the answer. Is it clear to you? If they ask this model in an MCQ, you cannot be doing all these things for that one mark, isn't it? So, it's better. I will give you two formulae. You learn them. So, if by chance this particular type of sum comes in MCQ, you use this formula and you can answer. That is, integral e power ax sin bx dx is equal to e power ax by a square plus b square a sin bx minus b cos bx plus c. Okay? Integral a power ax cos bx dx is equal to e power ax by a square plus b square into a cos bx plus b sin bx plus c. Actually, there are two uses for this formula. One is in MCQ you can use. Another one, supposing it, this sum comes in a big one as a 5 mark sum. To check your answer, you, if you know this formula, you can be very sure that you have done it correctly. For example, in the sum we have done, you know that A is 2 and B is 3. 
it is of this type e power ax cos bx dx so see here e power 2x okay that is ax by a square plus b square 2 square plus 3 square so 4 plus 9 is 13 a cos that bx plus c so 2 cos plus b sin that bx plus c if it is bx bx if it is bx plus c bx plus c okay so learn these two formulae you can write it along with the other formula you have written in your notebook and if you know it this will be definitely useful to you okay we shall move to some other type now before going to the next type let me explain integrals of type integral root ax square plus it can be bx plus c it can be just x or let, let us put some bx okay plus bx plus c dx if any integral is of this type actually this is deleted as for this your syllabus right but there are three formulae which are connected with this type you should definitely know this formula because this first formula especially you will be using in the next chapter that is area this is oft repeated formula so you should know it anyway Similarly, in some sums, this will be useful. So, you better learn these three formulae. Even though this type of sum is deleted, the formula is important. So, please learn it. Integral root of a squared minus x squared dx. That is now it is in the numerator. Previously, you have learned if it is in the denominator formula. Now, x by 2 root of a squared minus x squared plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a plus c okay then integral root a square plus x square dx x by 2 root of a square plus x square c they are almost the pattern you can notice plus a square by 2 log mod x plus root of a square plus x square plus c the third one integral root of x square minus a square dx is equal to x by 2 root of x square minus a square Everywhere you can see x by 2 and whatever is here will come here. Only here there is a minus sign. Minus a square by 2. Then the pattern. Log mod x plus root of x square minus a square plus c. So, whether you have a sum of this type or not, learn this formulae. Write this in the formula notebook and learn this formulae. Definitely it will help you. Okay. How to integrate? Integral sub type dx by a plus b sin squared x, dx by a plus b cos squared x, dx by a sin squared x plus b cos squared x, dx by a sin x plus b cos x the whole squared. There are two important steps here which you have to follow. First step, divide the numerator and denominator by cos squared x. When you do that, you will be getting a secant squared x in the numerator. Then, if you substitute tan x is equal to t, the numerator part, that is the secant squared x dx will become dt. And in the denominator, you may get some tan squared x plus some constant or some secant squared x plus some constant. If you get secant squared x, you write it as 1 plus tan squared x. Okay? So, tan x is t and this is dt and after doing that your integral will be of the form some dt by a quadratic. So you have some formula already dx by a square plus x square dx by x square minus a square dx by a square minus x square etc. It will be any one of that formula and then you will be able to integrate easily. So just make a note of these types and these two steps. Now let me do one example sum so that you can try the rest of the sums yourself. Okay. Now see the sum. i is equal to integral dx by 4 cos squared x plus 9 sin squared x. What is the step 1? Divide the numerator and denominator by cos squared x. So what will I get now when I divide? I will be getting here secant squared x dx. Here cos squared x by cos squared x I will be getting a 4 and 9 tan squared x. Okay, what I have done now? I have divided the numerator and denominator by cos squared x. Okay, so you get it. What is the second step? 
put tan x is equal to t. So substitute tan x is equal to t. If you differentiate secant squared x dx, that will become dt, right? So now the i will now become the numerator is dt by 4 plus 9t squared. I can write it as dt by, I will write 3t the whole square plus 2 the whole square. You know this is of the form x integral dx by x squared plus a squared. And you know the formula is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So here a is 2 and in the place of x here it is t, so 3t. So now I can write it is 1 by 2 tan inverse 3t by 2, okay, then divide by the coefficient of t, don't forget it, plus c. So, you will be getting 1 by 6 tan inverse, okay, 3 by 2. What is t? t is tan x, 3 by 2 tan x, then plus c. The sum is simple only, the integration is simple only. But unless you know the two steps what to do, you won't be able to proceed. Okay. So again, I repeat. First step, divide the numerator and denominator by cos squared x. Okay. Then substitute tan x is equal to t. So the numerator secant squared x dx becomes dt. Then you will be getting some formula like dt by some quadratic formula and you can use it. Is it clear now? In the next video, I will teach you one more type and two, three concepts and then we will have one or two special sums that I will do in the next video. So, I am closing this video with this. So, thanks for watching the video. Share it with your friends and classmates. Thank you once again.